Howdy YouTube! I got a supposedly quick little job. At least I don't think it'll take very long. I've already ran out and looked at it and made some templates, but I'll get back to that here in a second. But what the job is, is a customer of mine wants me to put a grapple fork, like for hauling round bales, on his case payloader. A little bit of a unique situation, a type of job that I absolutely love doing. The reason he's putting a grapple on a payloader to move round bales is because, well, they have the payloader, so they might as well get as much use out of it as possible, right? Uh, they like using the payloader there at the farm where they unload the bales, and then they'll take their other tractor that has the loader on it. Since it has a much higher road speed, they can take it out to the field and load the semi. So they'll leave one tractor in the field, load the semi, drive the semi back to the farm, use the payloader to unload. So makes a lot of sense and you know the payloader definitely has the capacity to lift a couple of round bales right no problem there all right so i've gone out and looked at this project already uh, we set the grapple up on the bucket trying to figure out where it should set i went and made some cardboard templates there's some squiggles and stuff on that and so now I gotta sit down and put this all into Cut 2D. That is the CAD program that I use to draw parts for the plasma table. And next I put the Easy Scriber in the plasma cutting torch there because I was going to drill all these holes with the mag drill and an inch and an eighth annular cutter. So I went to all the work to make the scribe lines tool paths and center punch all of these. Got out my mag drill, went to get out my inch and an eighth annular cutter, and lo and behold, I could not find the thing. I know I bought an inch and an eighth annular cutter because, well, for two reasons. One, it's a fairly common size. Inch and an eighth is fairly common on farm equipment. So it is something I know I had. And two, when I did the hard facing and adding reamers to that big dirt auger that I did about a year ago, I know I had an inch and an eighth annular cutter for that project. So I've set the dang thing down somewhere or else it grew legs and walked off. I have no idea. But my point is I thought it'd make a lot nicer hole and it would actually probably be faster just to use the mag drill to put all these holes in this half inch plate. And setting up these parts in the mill was just going to be a real pain. So I then switched over to cutting these holes out with the plasma cutter. And I didn't record it, apparently, but I did this in a two-step process. I cut the hole at the size I drew it at, and then I made another tool path that was about 30 thousandths bigger than that, and cut the holes again, and ended up really, really nice. I tried just cutting the holes at that 30 thousandths bigger without doing it in two steps, and I ended up with a really tapered hole. Alrighty. Oh, nothing's even hung up. Oh, nice. That is a heck of an edge. Wow. Nice looking hole. A little bit of taper to it, but. Got us a little bit of play in there. Not much. But I need some play. You don't want that a perfectly tight hole. So, it's like my lighting over here sucks. Oh, well, anyway. Wow. Oof, it's hot. It's hot, hot. Nice. Now, it's a little bit slow because, as you can see, I got some dross built up there. Should have gone just a little bit faster, but. Uh, it's not going to take anything to knock that off. That's nothing to complain about. So, nice. Then I took the parts over to my grinding station, used my angle grinder that I bolted on the side of it here to knock the dross off and get rid of the sharp edges really quick, and then hit it with a belt sander. Then it was time to take the parts out to the customer's place and install them. 
and the customer did help me install this, get the grapple set up and all that, so I did not record very much while I was out there. But here's a couple little clips of how it went. I am using my Lincoln SA250 on my truck. Got the leads running in here. Well, these on. Finally got it all set up and in position. Got all the plates where they're supposed to be. But uh, there it is on the little case. It was a 621B. Yeah. So, that uh, worked pretty good on there. So, and then we'll have to put on hydraulic hoses and all that stuff. But they, we won't do the hoses today, so I won't show you any of that stuff. I probably won't even be around. Probably won't come back and help them with that. Probably just do the weld and leave. So, anyway, that's the overview of it. Now I just got to get back to welding, welding, welding. Just burning in some 7018 on this half inch plate that I cut out here. And that bucket is about 3 8 inch thick. So it takes a lot of heat to get it melted down in there. Home. 